Hey everyone, my name is Renz and welcome to my desk setup tour. It's crazy to think that this is my fourth desk setup video in the past three years. I'm a content creator based in Los Angeles and I make tech, creator tips, and motivational content. I started my content creation journey in 2020 and never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be doing this full time. Since then, I've had the privilege of working with some amazing brands who have supported and provided a lot of the items that you see in this video. It took a lot of time to get to this point though, so just know it didn't happen overnight. I wanted to create a space that not only looked good, but also functions as a space where I can be productive as a content creator. And as you could tell, I needed to really maximize this 150 square foot room since my space is limited. So if you also have a small space, maybe it can give you some ideas and inspiration for your desk setup. I call it thinking big in small places. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now it wouldn't be called a desk setup without the desk that supports everything. This desk is from Ergon Office called the Sway Standing Desk. I went with the 60 by 30 walnut finish since I love how classy and professional it looks. The desk is a locally sourced solid wood top made in Canada and has a ton of cool features that makes this a standout amongst other standing desks. The built-in touch interface is fantastic. It's a small OLED screen that lets you add the user profiles, change menu language, and adjust the height of your desk with the up and down arrows. And it doesn't stop there. There's reminder options that can change the desk height at regular intervals. This is useful for people wanting to switch from sitting to standing periodically. You can also set custom presets for your sitting and standing positions. To do this, you simply tap the interface and swipe up to get to your standing position and swipe down to get to your sitting position. It's super cool. Another thing that I highly recommend when building your setup is a cable management solution to help with visual clutter. This one from Ergon Office came in clutch to keep all my cables tidy. It also came with a nine outlet power strip so you only have to plug one cord in the wall outlet. Now I know this doesn't look perfect, but it gets the job done. Overall, this Sway Desk is perfect in any office because it's elegant, easy to assemble, it's quiet, and has a well-designed user interface. I couldn't recommend it enough. Now, just as important as a desk, another key component to a productive workspace is a great chair. My work days usually consist of eight to 10 hour days, so having a comfortable chair is really important for me. Whether I'm editing videos or just relaxing, the U2 chair from Ergon Office has been a lifesaver. I went with a black frame and leather combo of smoke and rust. It looks so beautiful, but also providing me comfort. You can tilt the chair and lock in your preferred reclining angle, as well as adjust the chair height. There's also lumbar support, which helps release stress from your lower back. This is useful since back pain is common for me when I used other chairs in the past, but not this one. The seat slider lets you glide the seat in and out to get that perfect 90 degree sitting angle. I also love the mesh back and how nice it feels to sit back in. Ever since switching from my old chair to this one, it's a night and day difference to how I feel. I feel way more comfortable and that's key, especially if you want to be more productive. The main computer that powers this whole setup is my 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. After having this laptop now for over a year, it hasn't missed a beat. I edit videos and photos every single day so so it's really important for me to have a machine that is not only efficient, but can also save me a lot of time. Now I know that the newest M2 Pro is out, but if you want to save some money, you can get this same laptop on the Apple refurbished website for some significant savings. It gets the job done for most tasks, and even if it's two years old, I still would recommend it. I also think that the 14 inch is the perfect size, especially if you're traveling. The XDR display is also so crisp and makes editing on the go enjoyable. The laptop is hooked up to my Anchor Thunderbolt dock, which has a wide range of ports, like an SD card slot and USB ports. The main display that I use is the Apple Studio display. I went with the Visa mount option to give me flexibility to adjust the height and tilt the display by using a monitor arm from Ergotron. I didn't want to be limited if I went with the one with the stand. Another reason I went with this display is color accuracy. In my previous setup, I used the ultra fine 4K display with the dual up from LG. Even though it's a pretty good combo, it was hard to calibrate the colors to match my MacBook. I noticed it, especially when color grading videos. It was always off, so that's when I decided to purchase the studio display. The studio display is a 27 inch screen with 5k resolution, meaning you can view images with sharp detail. The peak brightness is also fantastic and allows me to just focus on creating rather than worrying if my colors are right. However, it does have a 60 hertz refresh rate, so it's not really meant for gaming. But if you're planning to play casual Apple arcade games, it gets the job done. I love using this display. It's pleasant to browse the web, watching my favorite shows on Netflix, and editing photos and videos. When I'm editing photos and videos, I usually work with a team and exchanging sensitive information such as passwords. This is where the sponsor of this video comes in, NordPass. NordPass is a secure way to remember passwords. Instead of sharing sensitive data to other employees via messenger or email, which is both a liability and risk, NordPass lets you save confidential information securely in one place and access and updated by others when needed. In case you have new hires or departures in your company, you can easily give them access or remove access with NordPass. 
On top of that, there are also some useful tools like a password generator so you don't waste time. There's also a password health checker to make sure your company's confidential information is safe and secure. So if you're interested, see NordPass Business in action now using a three month free trial with code RENSTADIWA, which you can find for in the link in the description below. All right, back to the setup. The one thing that made this setup way more productive is this desk organization kit from Ugmunk. I've had the pleasure of getting to try the gather collection out and I absolutely love it. This kit houses all of your essential items in one place to maximize productivity. The set has a monitor stand, laptop stand, headphone stand, and a phone stand that you can put a MagSafe charger. There's also a variety of trays like the zigzag tray to place your pens or pencils. The square tray is also nice to place items like AirPods, paper clips, SD cards, and a lot more. There's also a tray underneath the monitor stand that can conveniently fit your laptop. What's great about this set is that it's fully customizable with the magnetic system. Most of the accessories have magnets underneath them, so you can arrange them how you like while keeping them in place. I went with the black walnut steel combo, but there are also other colors available. I really appreciate every detail that went into designing this set. It's high quality, premium, and also serves a great purpose to keep your essentials tidy. The analog from Ugmunk is also a key part of my workspace. It's a simple yet elegant system to keep track of my tasks. You simply write your tasks on the today card and use task signals to march each task as completed, delegated, or in progress. This system has helped me so much because I'm able to quickly see what I need to get done at a glance and treat it almost like a game. I usually write my notes digitally, so using the analog in conjunction with my digital notes has been a big help in just being way more productive. The next item on my desk is actually not made for the desk. This is the Spotify car thing a product that was released by Spotify to use in your car as a media player. I figured this would actually fit perfectly on my desk since I use Spotify to stream music all the time. It also reminds me of the old school iPods or Zoom players back in the day. It has a touchscreen display with five buttons along the top, a scroll wheel that covers a small portion of the display, and a back button below that. The device is designed solely to control Spotify that's connected to your phone. When music is playing, you'll have a full screen display that includes a song title, artist, and album art. In addition, the four buttons along the top of the car thing can be custom mapped to your favorite playlist with a single tap starting playback. This is such a cool accessory for the desk, but unfortunately it's discontinued, so the only way to purchase it is through eBay. Behind the car thing is my main headphones, the AirPods Max. I still love these, not just because they look great, but for its amazing noise canceling and transparency mode. They sound great and have a solid build quality. I'm super excited for the second version of these, which are rumored to be releasing soon. Now I'm no keyboard expert, but I do appreciate a well-made board and the Envoy from Mode Designs doesn't disappoint. This is the latest keyboard from Mode Designs and I'm super impressed. The build quality, look, and typing experience is so premium. The white chassis, black keycaps, and copper accent combo is so gorgeous and matches the setup perfectly. What I love about the Envoy is that there's a ton of customization options to build your perfect keyboard. So whether you're using this for gaming or for your work from home setup, the possibilities are endless. The typing experience is unlike anything I've typed on before. I can only describe it in one word, satisfying. As a video editor, I need to have a reliable mouse that is also ergonomic. This mouse checks all the boxes. The Logitech MX Master 3S can pair up to three devices simultaneously. The scroll wheel on the top and side is so satisfying to use when scrolling through timelines. It also has custom gesture controls. This is useful for me as a video editor because I can assign custom buttons to my mouse, which makes editing a lot faster. It's extremely quiet too, which is a huge plus. For my speakers, I'm still using the Audio Engine A2 Plus. They've been reliable and have a clean and excellent sound quality. The main microphone that I use now is the Logitech Blue Sona. The Blue Sona sounds amazing right out of the box, and I love the design way more than the SM7B. The audio interface I'm using is the Rode AI1. I like this interface since it's small and compact. Lighting plays a huge part in creating the ambiance for your space. I recently added the nano leaf lines and love the futuristic vibe. They come with 19 preloaded scenes in the app. If you want to go crazy, there are other scenes you can choose from as well. I like these lights because they're modular to fit any sort of pattern you want. They work smoothly and pretty responsive. Overall, a great addition to any space to provide nice ambient lighting. This monitor light is called the Screen Bar Halo from BenQ. Having a light like this saves space on your desk and can minimize eye strain. It's connected via USB and came with a wireless controller that can adjust brightness, temperature, dim settings, and this convenient backlight. It's such a great light to have, especially if you want to get work done at night. The key light next to my monitor is the Amaran P60X, a bicolor LED light panel mounted with an Elgato arm. 
I actually got this inspiration from Undress and knew I needed this especially for doing meetings. Since I sometimes meet with clients or have calls with friends, it's convenient to have a quality light that I can control using the app. Overall, a really solid light that has many uses. And lastly, behind a studio display, I mounted two Philips Hue play bars. These lights and ecosystem are amazing. I even have the gradient light strip behind my TV. There's different scenes in the Philips Hue app to create specific ambiance. It is pricey, but it's so responsive that I think it's worth the price tag. The gear corner for my previous desk setup video is still the same. The only difference is I moved my file cabinet in this corner. It's definitely still a work in progress. The shelf unit is from Ikea and is perfect for small spaces. It houses the cameras and equipment that I need daily. Above the shelf unit, I have an Ikea pegboard that has all of my batteries, cables, action cameras, and other important gear for content creation. My all-in-one YouTube stand is also still here. The stand has my key light, a boom arm with my microphone, and a ball head to mount my camera. No more wasted time setting up equipment and procrastinating. It's all ready to record. And there you have it. That's my updated desk setup in 2023. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for sticking around. I've learned a lot over the years and really dialed in this space to make sure it's the most productive yet aesthetically pleasing setup. Even though the space is small, I hope it gave you inspiration that even with a small space like mine, you can still maximize it for productivity. If you're building your desk setup, just know that I went from this to this. Don't rush the process. Make the space that makes you feel good to work and relax in. And with that, thank you for watching this video. You can follow me on my socials where I post daily videos, but see you guys in the next one. Peace.